Don't you just hate when someone changes something that's completely fine the way it was before they changed it? Yes, I'm talking about the new YouTube homepage. It sucks. What is up, guys? It's Engage Tutorials. And, uh, like I said, I hate the new YouTube homepage. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be pretty neat, but uh, it's too clustered. Um, there's pointless stuff on there that we don't need. This is YouTube. Come on, people. It's not turning into, like, a freaking... Uh, I don't even know, but it's it's YouTube. Keep it that way. But, uh, yeah, today I got a gameplay of um, TDM on a mission. At the beginning, I was using the Gold Striker. It, oh, my God, the Striker is amazing, uh, especially when you get damage on it. It's absolutely rip. You, should, you guys should get it. It takes a little bit of time to get, but I got it in a day and uh, actually got a 1,000 kills with it. I played with it yesterday. And I got it um, today. So that's how many kills I've been getting. But, uh, wow, theater mode in this game makes you look stupid. That was lag right there, but it didn't show the lag. Yeah, anyway, guys, this is a game of uh, TDM omission, like I said. My final score was 38 and 9, I believe. Yes, that was that's what it was, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, I pulled out the Type 95, and that is because there was a lot of people camping in... Uh, with this map, you can honestly make it um, a long-range defensive map or a rush and uh, rape map, I guess you can say. But I decided to go the defensive way. I'm trying to bring my KD up. Um, by the way, guys, if you want any updates, I am 6th Prestige. Uh, at the time, 73. When I upload this, I'll probably be around prestige mode again and I'm gonna make a video and of my stats and stuff so I'm not gonna give away any of my stats but I'm pretty high on the score leaderboards um, let's just say top 10k for the leaderboards for score and uh, for kill confirmed I've been playing kill confirmed and it's definitely a fun game mode I got tired of it though that's why I switched to team deathmatch but one thing I do hate about this game is the theater mode it does suck I gotta admit, Treyarch's uh, theater mode was much, much better than this. You can't even watch theater mode with party. You can't press the back button to see scores. Um, it's glitchy, and the only really the good thing I do like about it that's different is it shows kill cams and game winning kills. In case you get a get an amazing game winning kill, and um, you're not recording, you can just go into theater mode and see it. So, some tips I can give you on this map are. Um, one thing is that you will be fighting over the middle or the right side of the map. Uh, well, I can't really say that depending on which way you're facing. Right now, to the right of me and in the back of that spawn where I was at in the beginning, that's pretty much all the points you're going to be fighting over in TDM at least. And uh, the perks I'm using in this game are well, I'll probably be using them for every game, but it's um, Slide of Hand, Quick Draw Pro and dead silence pro obviously all three of those i always use those sleight of hand so you can switch guns faster to get to your secondary in case you need that quick draw pro uh to aim it faster it's very very helpful and uh dead silence pro is because i have an astro headset and i kind of need that i don't like hearing my own footsteps the point streak setup i'm using or kill streak whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter is uh support um for support i'm using uav Advanced UAV and Stealth Bomber. Um, the reason I am using those is the UAVs and Advanced UAVs will help pinpoint enemies, obviously. And I can work up to that Stealth Bomber, which if I put it on the map right, which you'll see in this video I didn't, I should get a lot of kills. And especially since the Advanced UAV and Stealth Bomber are right next to each other, I can see where they're at on the map, maybe get all six of them, and that would be like six extra kills. But with the Advanced UAV right next to the stealth bomber you're pretty much guaranteed a kill unless they all run and hide in like a freaking amazing strong supported building but um another reason why i like using support is they build up oh sorry about that that was aim they build up even even though you die you can respawn and keep building building them up so that's one amazing thing about support there aren't too many support streaks or yeah, shrieks that kill people, so that's why I love using the Stealth Bomber. Um, Juggernaut, I don't really like using that because you run slow and it's a ride shield, and 
That's just dumb. If I'm going to use the Juggernaut, I'm going to use the Assault one. Which, I've gotten in a care package before. Twice, I think. It's really crazy. Because I see a lot of people getting Juggernauts in care packages. They should really change the, um, what's it called? Probability of getting a Juggernaut in a care package. They should lower that. But, that's just my opinion. Speaking of that, of them changing things, I think they need to fix a lot of stuff in this game. My number one main concern is lag compensation. Compensation. They're sitting here worrying about upgrading shotguns and um, nerfing guns when the main reason why my KD is low is because of the stupid lag compensation. It's ridiculous. And the other thing, they, after that, they just need to nerf guns. But. I'll get into all that later. This video is actually almost up. When I started ranting about that stuff, I looked at the timeline and it's almost over. But uh, there you go, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. And those are the guns that they need to nerf. I'm using them because they rape, and why wouldn't I? So, uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, rating, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video, which should be in the next couple of days, if not the next day after this is uploaded. Peace.